Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Angela Dominic. You're welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you that have been watching me for a while, I do appreciate you guys for always coming back to watch me. I am a wife and a mom. Been married for over 10 years now. I did a distance relationship whilst dating and also in marriage. I must say it was a very fun experience, although it was hard. I know a lot of people do run away from this relationship because of trust. I know trust is the foundation of a relationship. What you need to understand is whether the partner is far away from you or whether the partner is nearby, if they're still going to do silly things, they're still going to do it. So distance relationship is worth giving a try and if you're in this relationship right now kudos to you and i would like to know in the comment section how you're able to maintain this relationship we need to know your experiences and you know so that we can shed more light to people that are still thinking about it to know if it is worth a try or not i'm gonna say for my ex for my experience it is worth giving a try because you just never know if that's the one for you basically i feel like where it is most difficult with distance relationship is the is the physical touch but i can tell you for free there are things you can actually do to be able to keep to still spice things up even though the person is not nearby but as you can tell by the title of the video i'm here to share a couple of topics you can actually have in a distance relationship to spice up your conversation first of all i'm going to be breaking down this series right so i'm going to be picking each topic this is going to be the first topic i have six topics that i'm going to be sharing with you i don't want this video to be a very long video so i'm going to break it down so if you keep coming back and you see me wearing the same thing that's because i am breaking them down so you want to make sure that you watch every topic to know you know which one you know works for you first topic is childhood memories talk about your favorite movies talk about your games your favorite books ask questions like what was your favorite primary school teacher and why so things like this will let you know a little bit about the person you know ask questions like one achievement you worked so hard for this will let you know what that person is actually passionate about if they tell you that oh i achieved xyz and how they worked so hard for you it will let you know if that person is actually a hard working person so or a lazy person so topics like this questions like this needs to be asked because you want to get to know that person better ask questions like what was your favorite christmas presents it lets you know the kind of presents that the person likes you know even though it's a childhood memories but it lets you build it up to when they become an adult and let you know the kind of things that they do cherish as christmas presents ask questions like the kind of sports that they played growing up so it lets you know the kind of sports that they like for myself my husband loves football he played football whilst growing up and i know for sure that he loves football so sometimes i sit down with him to watch football these were questions that i did ask and these were things that i knew that he really liked and he grew up doing so it made me put a bit of interest you know just to make sure that you know to date i still watch football with him i still literally watch arsenal football with him yesterday so these are things that as well that even when you come together it helps you build the relationship stronger ask questions like did you get into fights it will let you know if this person is actually a violent person or a very calm person or how they're able to handle you know fights or things like this will help you to understand that person more if the person is a very violent person you will get to know straight away so ask questions like what their worst part about school so this will let you know if this person is more of an educative person if they are all about school ask questions about their favorite chores this will let you know if the person is actually a lazy person i don't think anyone wants to settle down with someone that is very lazy so ask questions about their favorite chores the you know the chores they do their favorite chores and the chores they hate the most so for myself the chores that i hate the most is ironing and from the get-go my husband knew that i do not like ironing so if i come on here sometimes and you see that my top is not looking good i'm sorry <laughs> yeah but you know questions like this will let you know how good the person is with chores you don't want to settle down or you get back get into the same house and you find out that oh my god this person is actually a lazy person they literally don't do anything they finish eating they drop their plate somewhere and all of that i'm sure i am making absolute sense so you don't just want to be on the phone or your video call all you're talking about is about somebody else and you need to make sure that you're taking your time to get to know this person so where you're going to start off from is knowing their childhood memories so this will help you build up the relationship spice of the conversation as well 
the childhood memories conversation helps you to know the person more helps you to understand how they operate you know the things that they like and the things they do not like there's so many questions like all these questions i've shared with you guys now can build up more conversation more questions and i feel like these questions are very very important that you need to ask whilst in a distance relationship so this is very useful for someone that has just started a distance relationship or maybe you met that person on a dating app and you know you're trying to look for a conversation to have so they're very very important and it just helps to keep your conversation very spicy and very interesting please let me know in the comments section if you are in a distance relationship and the things that you've been doing to spice up your conversation i need to know in the comment section please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in the part two bye